Hey, hello, welcome. So friend, in this video, we are going to learn how we can run ESS job from integration. So let me first show you the ESS job so that we can go and we can run the same ESS job from integration. So here in setup and maintenance, we need to go for global search as like I didn't remember where is the location of that the task. So here if you will see, I will search the task. So I will search the job manage enterprise scheduler job and percentage. So it will show us. So here I am going to select finance financial supply chain. You can select whatever you have. Right. And I will search my I will search my uh, ESS job. So in previous video I have created ESS job. I even I have already shown you. So I will search my ESS job. And you sorry. XX space so let me check the name okay so this is my ESS job name this one so let me show you the job so that we can check so here you can see this is my custom ESS job I have created and this ESS job I will run from integration so here you can see this is the name display name of ESS job and this is the name this is called definition and this is the package of the ESS job so this this two will require while calling any ESS job and if your ESS job have any parameters you can add that parameters also so as of now we don't have any parameter in this uh, ESS job so we require these two this is the path or we can say the package and this is the definition so here you can see as this is the custom ESS job right so if it is a standard ESS job we directly co copy this URL and it will work but as this is custom, we have to add or we have to add a prefix of the path as is custom path. So you can see here, once I move to the path, it so that the pop-up and here you can see folder location prefixed by Oracle apps ESS custom. And then inside that we have this directory or this path, right? We can say definition. So I have already made a copy of that one. You can see this is my actual path where I define my ESS job and this is the actual path where oracle is stored as this is the prefix this is sorry this is the prefix oracle apps ess and this is the path what what path i have mentioned while creating the ess job so remember if your ess job is custom ess job then you have to add this one as a prefix for your package name right you can say package path and all right so this is my complete package name and this is my definition name that is the short code of the our ess job this two will, I will use in our integration, right? So I have shown you everything. So let's move to the integration part. So here I will create one integration. So just click here and I will create integration as a schedule. So even if not schedule, let me create as a app driven and I will give this two as a request payload, right? So here I will use xx run ess job 01 okay done so here what we need to do is that first we need to add the end point as i have added the app driven so i just want to want that the at the time of running the integration user will provide the value as a response in response request period user will provide as a report definition and the report definition they will provide the value these values right these values and report package package or path you can consider anything right and in package this is the path complete package right for the custom ESS job so I, I I want that the as a request payload user will provide this value as a request payload and in a response payload I will return back the request ID right response it will return as a request id right so whatever will the request id receive from the erp adapter we will return back so let me configure this thing so for that we have to add that erp sorry rest endpoint so that we can configure the request and response payload so as this endpoint is, is help to getting a started of the integration so i will use a start rest a start is for identifying that this endpoint is going to start the integration a rest for that this is the rest endpoint next here we will give run ess job 
and here I will select post as I have to configure request and the response payroll both. We'll go request, I will select JSON and in line we'll pass the request payload. Next, even in the response also it's JSON, I will copy the response. This one. <coughs> Done. Okay. Now next and done. So here we configure the REST endpoint so that we can configure request and response payload. In REX is in this endpoint only we will get the uh, as a request payload we will get the path and the definition name. So now it's time to add the ERP cloud adapter so that we can run the ESS job. Remember you can run the ESS job from SOAP SOAP uh, services also. So in this integration we will use REST uh, ERP cloud adapter only. So I will just drag here my connection. I will give the name run ESS job as it is ERP cloud. ERP cloud is the name of the endpoint and the run ESS job is the operation whatever operation we are going to perform. This is not mandatory to use the same name but I always prefer that whenever I add any endpoint I prefer to use the name same as that. That the operation whatever we are going to perform using that endpoint. So just wait, it will take time some time. So Oracle ERP cloud adapter or Oracle HCM cloud adapter is taking a bit of time, right? So while loading, so I will select here services because I have to call the services. So I will select browse by services. Then here I have to select the operation name or like we can say services name. So I will select that the ERP integration, right? Here I will show you ERP services. We have named something like that. You can see ERP integration services, right? You have to select ERP integration services. For the same ERP integration services, we have SOAP, SOAP services also. So in ERP integration services, whatever operation we have available here, the same operation we will get the using visitor, any SOAP web services, right? So we have SOAP web services for form. I will create another videos where I will run the ESS job from SOAP. Then I will show you all these things. So now done, so we will append the file, sorry. So here we need to select the operation as submit ESS job request, right? Even with the help of this one ERP integration services, we have uh, get ESS job so that we can, with the help of that get ESS job status, we can get the status of that job, whatever we run, right? So submit ESS job done, done. And now here in the mapping, we need to provide the mapping, we need to provide the definition name, here job package name. So in request payload only, we have the package name. So I will map here definition name so here report definition and this is the parameter list so as of now in my integration we don't have any parameter so i just escape here right so we don't require to provide any parameters just close and now this will return back the request added so this response of this endpoint i will map to the mapper the response mapper of our integration so here you can see response wrapper if we will go you can see request id request id where you will get the run ess job response expand here expand you can see result result is nothing it's a request id validate and close so now our integration is ready our integration is ready to run so as of now i'm getting error because of each and every integration required tracking variable at least one tracking variable tracking variable can be the default value whatever is getting or the request response payload you are passing so you can select here and just select here so you can see we have our integration is ready to save just click save save it's going for the the success and it's now ready for configuration so we'll close here and here it's in configured status we will go and we will activate this one so once you will activate it will take some time so now activate it just go and execute click on test in request payload here in body you can see we have as this is the default value we passed as a config the rest endpoint so this is showing here you can change the values or name anything so i just don't want to change as this is the values i want to pass just click on test so it will pass this two value to erp cloud adapter and based on that it will run the services and here you can see it generated the request id as 6946338 and if you will check this request id i will show you here here you can see if I will reload this one you can see this is our ESS job name this one the first uh, before creating the video I have done the same for testing so here you can see this is the one and here is succeeded and you can see the ID process ID is 338 
this is the same process id which what, what i got from the response as a integration so this is the simple videos uh, in which i explain how to run ess job from integration in next video i will show you how you can download the output of that ess job so here if you will see this ess job is calling bip report and here we have output of in output we have bip report right so the same we can get in our integration also so how we can get so i will create next video in next video i will show you how you can download the ess job log file or output file so thank you so much for watching we'll meet in next video if you like this video and want to support don't forget to subscribe this channel and like the video thank you so much for watching